Hey YouTube, this is Super Zemus, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. All right, I'm back where the we fought the vampire. Well, let's go this way. All right. Now, if you came here, if you came here earlier, you wouldn't be able to get here. It would just say, "Oh, you, uh, some evil forces um, sealed this area." But with the Earth Rod, we can go further down. So just follow me, and I'll gu uh, guide you to more um, chests. So, uh, how's everyone doing today? It is now really uh, tomorrow is um wait is it tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, duh. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I hope everyone's ready for that, cause I am. And we find some new enemies. Here are Hyenadons, uh, not so strong. And then the blue guy, the blue ogre, is an ogre mage. He just pretty much casts Blink on himself. Not, not nearly as powerful as he was in Final Fantasy II. Yeah, soon enough I'll be doing a Let's Play on that. I just gotta get used to it, and I'll... Oh, and he also regains health, but he, all he does is pretty much cast Blink on himself, which doesn't really affect it, me that much. Oh, it's all good. But in this chest we find a staff. 3,400 gil. New enemies. No, no. These guys are sphinxes. They can get a little abusive. I think they have a... Not... It, it, yeah, they have a, a relatively high physical attack power. But they have, um like 250 HP something like that I don't I can't remember them too much but they're just a little n not nice just put it that way abusive those are words for it wow I'm getting a lot of exp let's skip through that 1455 gil that much gil another sphinx and more gil wow we have a lot of gil in this place get out of my way there we go. Fast forwarding seems to work very well in my favor. I love fast forwarding. Eh, just a sec, I might heal up, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, we're out of that battle, let's keep going. Further on. Oh, here's a new enemy, Hilgius. Gosh, I don't know why I haven't been able to show him off for a while. Oh well. So, here he is, um... Not so high attack power. Well, yeah, it's high, but nah, you can deal with it. It's not that bad. You've dealt with worse, trust me. If I can just skip through this battle, that'd be nice. Uh, hurry up. My fast forward button doesn't seem to work well in, um, the um, battle, so just my emulator. Okay, just finish off this goblin and I'll be good. Alright, further on. I believe I go this way. Yes. Yeah, I go this way. And down here. Nope, not down here. Further down. Up this way. This way. Ah, got it, got it. Always, oh, this is probably one of the floors that I'm not so good with finding the treasure, but I'll get it all. And more enemies, trolls. Not pretty. Yeah, you again. You've dealt with worse, but even though you've dealt with worse, these guys are not nice at all. They regain about like maybe five health every round, so. Ow! Gosh, my red mage seems to really be getting kicked in his butt. I mean, I don't like my red mage now. Ow! Jeez, stop attacking my red mage! Gosh, she's gonna die eventually. I'm gonna heal up after that one. All right, my red mage is at max health, and the bat won't get out of my way, so I have to get around him. All right, uh, chests. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, you gotta love your monk. We find a tent. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Mithril shield. 
and 1,250 gil. Yeah, I think I think it's in counterpoints, but anyway, let's equip the mithril shield to your warrior. Oh, that's a lot of defense. Get out of my way. There we go. Ah, crap. All right. Let's keep going here. All right, and then after this, we'll be at the last floor of the cavern. Now, there's no chests on this floor. It's just you and the boss. Let's get going and fight him. Yeah. I can't wait for 2012. I wish I could give you guys more comments, but being in winter break... But since it's winter break, I mean, I can't really give you any comments. I don't have anything funny. Once I get back into school, though, I'll have I'll have stuff to talk about. All right, I'm going to take a pause break and heal up before I enter the store. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, let's go in. Why, it's the crystal in... What, what's this thing? Who speaks to me? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Crap, that looks like when Astos transformed. What, what? Whoa, okay. Okay. Uh-oh. So you're the one causing the trouble of the Earth dying. Oh, uh, you are going to die. I will revive the Earth. Time for the battle against Lich, the first fiend you fight in the game. Alright. Let's see, um... Now, since he's undead, I don't know why you wouldn't figure that out, but... Since he's undead, he's weak to fire and dia. Um, and he has... 1,200 HP, I believe... I believe that... No, 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 that's further on, um... He has 800 HP. This the Lich has 800 HP, so what you want to do is just go all out. You want to cast haste on your fighter and protect to uh, help. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the battle. Eh, it has high defense, but once you get haste and temper up, it's not going to be too much. Oh, yeah, I should cast no ice. Ow, okay, that would have been a good idea to cast that. I'm gonna cast up the next round. Yeah, he likes casting um the ice, so I would suggest um getting no ice up. That would be a good idea. Let's see, no frost, that's it. Alright, now we should be fine from that. And haste. Get everyone up. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, check out my power. Oh, sleep, bro. I think I might fall asleep from this, actually. Yep, yep, there we go. Attack. I want to cast, uh, where's temper? Cast temper and... No, we don't need to worry about that. Let's go protect. Temper's good. Yes, look at that attack. Alright, now I want to cast... Just go Fire Aga. I'm going to probably show that one off. And... Protect. Fire Aga, check that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that's called power. Alright, we should almost have him now, I think. Yep, now all I have to do is just, I guess, temper again would be nice. This time, uh, no, let's go haste on my, haste on my, uh, if I can, there we go. Haste, and, not cure up, I'm gonna use heal, heal up. Oh, crap, that doesn't look good. Ow. Aw, oh, crap. Now my red mage is dead. I can't get that EXP back. You know what? I'm not going to re-record for that. Probably would have been a good idea to get a save state. Oh, well. I'm not going to re-record for that. I'll just 
deal with it. It's gonna look awkward, but oh well. I'm not the best at it. But now, we've revived the Crystal of Earth. Alright. Now that we did that... What? Oh, it's the Earth Gift Shrine. Alright. Whoa, what, what's happening here? What was that? Whoa, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like we need to check that out. Now that we beat Lich. And, uh, you know what? Let's heal my red mage. Aw, oh, crap. I didn't, I didn't expect to die. Oh, well. Up oh, there goes my XP. It's all different now. Oh, well. Okay, let's life. That would be a good idea. Alright, and Kiraga on everyone. Alright. Now, luckily, we don't have to go through, um, the whole dungeon again. We can just take this teleporter right here, and we get teleported right out of the dungeon, so that's nice. But now, I'm gonna go and meet you at the Earth Gift Shrine, and that'll be the perfect time to tell you about the Soul of Chaos. The Souls of Chaos. So, I'll, I'll meet you at the, um, Earth Gift Shrine. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, I lied. I'm not really going to, um, the Earth Gift Shrine. I am here at the, um, dock next to Momond. But I'm gonna explain to you what the Souls of Chaos are here. I like the volume up a little more. The Souls of Chaos, they are, um, the, uh, special bonus side quest to Dawn of, uh, the Dawn of Souls version of Final Fantasy 1 and the 20th Anniversary Edition of Final Fantasy 1 for the PSP. <coughs> um, but anyway, there... I'm realizing now that I probably... I mean, the dungeon itself is pretty easy. There, I bet I could get through it at my level. What I'm worried about, there is four bosses there at the Earth Gift Shrine and all the other Souls of Chaos. There are three others. The problem is, I would not have a... I, at my level, and with the not a lot of magic or my job classes leveled up, I probably won't have a chance against them. So, I'm planning on taking on all the Souls of Chaos, the Earth Gift Shrine, Life Spring Grotto, and all the above that are... I'm planning on doing the Souls of Chaos after I revive the last crystal. But... For right now, I think, um, so you're, if you want to take it on right now, be my guest, but, uh, you probably won't have a chance against the bosses that are there. Yeah, if you do beat them, though, I mean, I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna show you to the play, uh, show you the dungeon until I am done with the, uh, fighting the last fiend and I revive the last crystal. Well, I'll do it eventually, though, trust me. But, for right now, let's check my world map. I forgot, I know, I know, I forgot to show you this. That the world map is the, what the brooms say in Matoya's cave. It's been a long time, but, anyway, um, for right now, um, we're just gonna go to the next area we have to go to. So just follow me, um, let's see, where, how would we do that? Like, right here. Say goodbye to the Terra Cavern. Oh, wrong way. I'll show you to the next town, alright? Just this way. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Let me check the map again. Alright, we're almost there. The place is called... Oh, the place is called the uh, Crescent Lake. Just launch your ship right there. Well, not launch, dock it. And just go around this way. And this way. Oh, something I forgot. If you just look at the, um... If you just look right, um, at the... Uh, here we go. Right here, the your crystal is revived. So, that's nice. Oh, and also another thing I forgot to mention. I went and off-screened, rebattled Lich again. So, 
Yes, I know that was cheap, but yeah, I rebattled him. Now my, all my EXP is the same again. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, OC I'm OCD like that. Shut up. Alright. But anyway, if only we could cross this large river without problem. Soon enough. Soon enough. But na for right now, we just need to walk around the river. Walk around the leaf. As, the, as that guy said in Bugs Life, well, this is a lot smaller than I remembered. Anyway, let's go in here, and we find the village of Crescent Lake. But I am out of time for this episode, so next time we're going to explore the town of Crescent Lake, and we're going to find a canoe, which will help us in the river. So, this is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.